hello <laughs> and welcome back to the wild <laughs> so yes, hello and welcome back to the wild. I am bringing this episode to you from the beautiful, the famous, the eerie, the mysterious Loch Ness in Scotland. Woo, look at it, it's so cool. It's the second time I've been on this and I've missed it. The first time I went on this, I was doing the Great Glen Challenge. Look it up if you don't know about it, it's fantastic. Um, but last time I was on this, the water was like waves. Loch Ness was not happy. I was surfing pretty much on my paddleboard with my friend. Um, but it was a brilliant experience. So it's so nice to be back here now because it is amazing. And I'm so happy to bring you more photography tips because if you know anything about me, you will know that I love talking photography. I love sharing advice and tips on photography. I love hearing everyone else's stories on photography. And I'm turning around in the wind, but I do my best to keep, keep poised. I'm gonna try and not fall in whilst my dog's like cleaning himself. <laughs> um, and hopefully we can make it through this whole, ah, stop shaking. Uh, we can make it through this whole episode without falling in, so fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so let's get on with top tip number one. Let's go. Okay, so this brings me on to my top tip number one. I will be moving as I'm going along, just the wind is quite strong and it's like pushing me along as you can see on my board. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> so my dog Eric here is very small. He's a little guy. Um, but because of that, he really introduced a new perspective into my photography because I had to do everything at his level. Otherwise it looked silly looking down on him and it really helped me adapt my photography to new subjects, new scenes, um, and just a different, diff different perspective. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if you can, with your photography, think of new perspectives, get low to the ground, take pictures of flowers from different angles, take pictures of your dog at different angles. Because when people do things from a new perspective, it's eye-catching. You're like, whoa, what is that? How did they get that? So top tip number one, move with your scenery, be immersed in it, and take it from your scenery or your subject's perspective, not yours, theirs. That's what you're capturing. Okay, this leads me on to my next point, which is framing. Um, and you don't have to do this with all your pictures, but framing, I'll give you examples, is where you use something in your scenery, like a bit of flower, a plant, or something just to kind of frame <laughs> your picture, your subject, your landscape, whatever. And I personally love it. I think it really um, adds a bit of uniqueness and a bit of just, I don't know, elements of that moment to your picture, like more of it. And even if you can shoot, my favorite thing actually is to shoot through windows or doors and use it actually as a physical frame. There's something really nice about that. I really like that. And yeah, I don't know, it just, it just creates something very different. But if you can think of framing, shoot through things, think of bokeh and all these other stuff which goes with it as well, which is really lovely. Uh, yeah, top tip number two, framing, if you can. Jeez, I've been paddling like on one side. I feel like I'm gonna end up like Hellboy, one chunky arm. Okay, so my top tip number three for you lovely people is my best advice I can give to any of you because it's something I do wrong all the time. Because if you know me, you know I have bad memory and this links to bad memory. So that is always remember, always, 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 always remember a spare tripod mount. Because the amount of times I've gone out with my tripod, hiked up a mountain as you do and sweated loads and I was like this is really heavy my tripod's heavy and get to the top get my camera out go to put it onto the tripod no tripod mount I'm like oh my god Victoria Victoria so my top tip to you would be if you have a telephoto lens and you forget your tripod mount like I do all the time um get a spare one <laughs> simple as that attach one to your tri your telephoto lens sorry leave it on that and attach one to your camera body leave it on that or leave it in your bag and it will save you so much anger and pain, hurt and misery. <laughs> Top tip number three, please don't forget it, don't forget it. 
Okay, so my top tip number four, which is another important one, which actually has changed my photography a lot. And that is to always take your time. So be really present and mindful in what you're doing. Like I used to be one that rushed about, I was like, ah, I'll just take a picture, I won't use my tripod now. Um, can't be bothered, I don't get time. But <laughs> actually, when I did take the time and put more effort into it, I started changing how I did my photography of myself. Like I appreciated my work more, but also it meant that I had better quality images if I wanted to blow them up. Um, or use them for competitions. You never know what you might want to use them for. So just take the time to get the good setup, set it up properly and correctly. Use your self timer, use a slow shutter speed for doing landscape photography, use that high aperture and just utilize all your camera's abilities to the maximum. And because of that, you will be rewarded with a lovely image. And it also means less time editing and Lightroom because I hate spending time editing. I love, as you can see, being outside. That's why my page is called Wild and Free Victoria. I'm not Wild and Free Victoria editing <laughs> forever in my room. I like to be outside. That's where I find my joy. And if you get a good image and take the time setting up with it in the first place, you will reduce that after part of having to do all the editing. And it'd be more rewarding and uh, satisfying because you can spend less time inside. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Top tip number four, take your time. Okay, so my final top tip to you guys for now, uh, which is another important one, and that is to have fun. Always have fun in whatever you're doing. Um, don't put pressure on yourself to perform. Don't put pressure on yourself to get the shot. Uh, don't compare your stuff. We've mentioned this before. Just have fun with what you do and enjoy what you do. And when you do that, if you feel more positive in your enjoyment and positive in your hobbies, you're more likely to see that reflected in your work anyway. Uh, so yeah, don't worry about the end result. Just have fun on the way. That's what it's about, isn't it? Like they say in life, the journey is more important than the destination. It's the same with your pictures. It's not necessarily always about the pictures. It's about where you're going to get your pictures, who you're meeting when you're out doing your photography, what you're learning and the skills you're developing. Um, the pictures you're getting are at the end. And then the final thing where you can be like, oh yeah, I remember that, that was so much fun. Um, I remember that day where I got soaked in the rain and the picture wasn't the best, but I remember that day, it was so good. Those kind of things, that's what you want to focus on. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Just enjoy yourself and create nice memories, nice moments, and just what will be, will be. Enjoy that. Yeah, that will be my best advice to you. <laughs> so top tip number five is have fun and enjoy what you do. Love what you do and do it with passion and don't let anything temper or dull that. Enjoy yourself. Yes, top tip number five, have fun. Okay, so that's it guys, that's it for now. For now guys, there's one more left, one more. I've got to think of some other bits. No, I do have some more top tips on the way. One more, I don't think I've got any more after that. I'm not gonna like scratch it out and like draw it out and be like, well, else can no give. These are just actual tips I'm trying to give. <laughs> um, but ultimately, the key message I want to send is have fun, enjoy yourself, be you, be present in your moment. Don't just think about photography. Think about actually where you are, where you're taking your picture. Is it by a beautiful lock like this with like beautiful trees and everything, the scenery? Are you enjoying it with your dog who's licking his crutch? You know, be present in that moment. Think about these things, don't just think about the end result, don't just think about the picture. Remember where you are and how beautiful this world is and what you are doing in this beautiful world. And actually, once you look at the world more in that perspective, it will shine more in your pictures, as I've said. Ooh, Eric's moving, <laughs> Eric sit down. Uh, I was about to say we haven't fallen in yet. <laughs> um, and we haven't, so it's good. So yeah, anyway, I will get going. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Keep an eye out for the next one. Uh, stay you, stay awesome, because that's what you are. Stay wild, stay free. Look at this beautiful world. <laughs> and until next time, you incredible people. Goodbye for now. Bye bye. Hurt. <laughs> Eric, question, did you go to sailing school?
<laughs> I've had so many tomatoes today and I love tomatoes and they make me so hard but Sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see Oh, that he could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue Loch Ness, Nacy <laughs> Oh, I just saw something in the water Oh no, it's, like, it's just a shadow, it's fine I'm Choppy, 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 choppy Whee! I love paddling! I throw like poker hunters! Eric! So he actually ignores me, Eric! Eric, I look once more just around the river bend beyond the shore. How did you become a captain? What did you do? I've not seen any captains like you before. <laughs> just around the river bend. Did she just call me the captain? Yeah, she knows I'm captain. I am captain. I'm Captain Eric. You're very impressive. Yeah, I think that's it really.